y'all, Monique Lynette. I'm back with another video. I have got some tips on business, on life, on being a single mom, on saving money, on how to build your credit, um, personal credit and business credit. Um, I'm on that journey. So I just want to let you guys know a few tips to build your credit score, or improve your credit score. One, that Experian credit score, it actually does work. Mine went up nine points. It pulled from some utility bills that I have you do have to give it access to your bank account and you might not be cool with that a lot of people are not um, you can't do this credit karma that actually helped me back in 2017 when I was building my credit to get my first home right now I'm building my credit to purchase my second home and my first home is up for sale so we'll see how that goes um, now that we are all quarantine in the house due to this coronavirus so I am gonna be filling you guys in on that like what to do how it feels maybe if I transition to be a landlord from business owner to second home and things like that so I definitely do look forward to you guys following me on my journey okay so when it comes to collections don't pay full price um, does not make sense it's only gonna be a two three point different different say you owe 2500 talk them down you owe 2500 they might have sent you a letter saying that oh we'll settle for we'll settle for 2200 when you call them hey i'm here to settle but what's your best offer they might give you the same offer that they sent to you or they might say that your offer actually um expired well i'm here today what can i do i just want to make a one-time payment I mean, you can, you can talk them down, too, when you want to make payments per month. Like, say you want to stretch it out over two, three payments. But I like to call when I have my money, like, say, income tax or something like that. Because I just want to get stuff done. I'm, I don't want you playing in my bank account. Um, a few years ago, it's probably about 10 years ago when I was trying to build. Um, it's probably not as bad now. But when they would you would pay stuff off, sometimes they would still snatch stuff out of your bank account that... You already done paid them, so why are you still taking money out? And then it's just a whole thing to do with your um, with your bank getting involved, and then you gave them authorization, and it's like a whole whole thing. So I don't like to play that game. I just like I'm gonna give you the authorization for this one time payment, and we gonna keep it moving. So that's how I do them with that. But um, you definitely can talk them down more when you dare, like, hey, I'm here to stop, but I just want to do it one time. You know, can I just give you such and such amount? I have other debts to pay off, but I just want to get this one. And make sure when you're paying stuff off, before you even give them that bank account information, who is going to change the information on my credit report? Are you doing it? Because sometimes it's um, a third-party collection agency. So ask them, are they in charge of um, changing your credit report? Um, and if they're not, is it the original creditor? And even get their number sometimes because sometimes people are changing their number, they switching over and doing different things like that. So I will get their number. And then on top of that, can you mail me a letter saying that it's paid in full? Because that way, if anything ever comes back, say you, it takes 30 days once you pay stuff off for um, it to show on your credit. But the last thing you want is to be paying that. And then 30 days later, you know it's still on there so make sure you get a letter ask them can they email it to you because that's faster if they can't email it to you then just have them mail it to your address just make sure it's your current address so you're not looking all around for it so that's how i would deal with the collection well that's how i deal with the collection agency another company that i use i'm in south florida so this company is out of florida it's called sky blue and it's 79 dollars a month um and you pay them you have to give them access to your credit report. They walk you through the whole process. They're a very good company because um, if you are not satisfied with the actual score, I mean, yeah, if you're not satisfied with the actual work that they're doing, they'll actually um, give you your money back. You get a 90 days money back guarantee. So you're not going to find that with a lot of companies. So that's why I use them. I used them back in 2017. I'm using them now. And um, what they'll do is go through your credit and they'll look and see the things that they can help you improve on if they feel like if they contact the creditor and it's going to be, um, it might cause more problems for you or that creditor might want more money, then they'll tell you that, like, we don't think we should um, 
contact these people, it might be more trouble for you or they might want more money. And then you guys can go back and forth and kind of figure it out. If you don't care, then be like, all right, whatever, y'all can deal with them. But most of the time you kind of want to settle for yourself. You don't want nobody calling for you. So that's another tip, credit repair company. Um, and I just do it simultaneously. Or they're working on the things that I know they're not working on, then I go to the other stuff that um, I know I need to go ahead and pay off to make sure I'm collecting my receipts and just have you a little notepad. I have a planner, I live by my planner, so everything in my planner, um, who I talk to on what date, at what time, which way is my um, letter getting sent, are you sending it by mail, or are you sending it by email, and things like that. You just wanna stay on top of your paperwork. That's nobody else's job but you. Um, Sky Blue is not gonna do that because they have the stuff that they're already sending out dispute letters on. When they send out the dispute letters, they let you know the first round and then they'll say the next month, hey, we're sending out the second round. And then um, you kind of want to go from there. So what do we talk about so far? Collection agency and then have a credit repair company. Experian Credit will help you as well. Um, another big tool and it's for free is Credit Karma. I love Credit Karma. Credit Karma has shown me everything about um, credit. They're very up to date. A lot of the three credit bureaus like to tell you that, oh, Credit Karma is not a real company. Like we have all the information. No, Credit Karma is legit. They're going to let you know what everybody has on your account. Their points may have like a 20 point difference compared to everyone else. <clears throat> but they're definitely on point about the information that they have. And they're definitely um, good about letting you know what credit cards you might want to apply for if your credit score is low. Also, when you get the credit cards, what limit you should be using on the actual credit card. So, um, Credit Karma helped with that. So, this time around, I did, yeah, I did, I did it before as well. This time around, I did uh, secured credit cards. It'll let you know which secured credit cards are good. Some are good and some are not. Um, so, you kind of just have to research that because some of the secured cards will take their time reporting that you're in good standing. So, that will affect your credit. They're not reported every month. They just maybe doing it every three months. That's not going to help you improve a lot if you have a timeline that you're trying to do it by or trying to purchase a home or you're trying to purchase a car by a certain time. So, just be leery of that and um, just do your research and see which cards are good for you. Um, another thing with Sky Blue, they will let you know and suggest credit card companies. So this time around, I actually use the credit card companies that they suggested. And um, they've been pretty good. They've been reporting, they've been helping out. So another thing that I do while I'm simultaneously having Sky Blue work for, while I'm, um, improve credit like take um sky blue will go and take any false information off take any old accounts off that's still on there that's still reporting negative it's still affecting your credit report and it's past seven years so you want to look at that too and just make sure things that are past seven years they should not be on your account so that's one thing that they help you work on as well so what was the other thing so yeah you have your collections that you're paying off. You got Sky Blue Credit working on it. You're gonna go get your secured card. If your credit is not that bad, you can get a regular credit card. Um, look at Credit Karma. It will give you recommendations. Sky Blue give you recommendations. And um, what you do is get the card. It used to be was it 2017, 18, 19, 20. So three years ago, it used to be spend 20% of your credit card um, usage and that was good and that's what the lenders looked at. Now when I look on credit card, it's saying it's good to stay 10% of your credit card bill because then you're showing them like, I really just don't need this money. I can take care of myself. I just like to have available credit and things like that. So lenders definitely love to see that. So this time around, I'm gonna stay at 10% and stay at this Staying at 20%, it's up to you. You can do what you need to do, but that is the new trend going on now. And you definitely don't want to get caught up in any foods just now. When I closed last time, I was at 20%. Some of them I paid off, some of them were still on there. I never even had a conversation um, about my credit cards and the usage and things like that with the lender, the whole process. So that was never a problem. 
but on the A1. So I'm keeping it at 10% because I really don't um, live off credit cards. I've been living off my debit cards for the longest. So they're just there to just improve. So those are the things that you can do. Another thing you can do when you get your secured credit cards, what I have been doing is staying at the 10% and just holding money to the side. So every month I've been kind of just increasing my credit limit as though a lender is increasing my credit limit. So I've just been adding a little bit more to it. Say if it's 100, say if it's $50, just increase your credit like you're giving yourself a raise. So that's one thing um, that I've been doing these past few months and they seem to like it. So I'm just going to keep that going until I get where I need to go. And, um... I think that's just about it. Those are my tips. So get your credit repair company, pay off whatever collections you have, get your credit card, stay at under 10% um, of the usage, increase the credit card limit if you can. With the secure card, you have that liberty to do so. With a you know regular traditional credit card, they usually increase your limit after six to eight months. And then they'll go ahead and increase it. So, um, you want to keep that going. And the other thing, well, just make sure when you pay off collections that you know who is actually going to go back and update your account um, with the credit bureaus. Make sure you have their contact information and make sure you have a letter in writing on their letterhead stating that the account has been paid in full or the account has been settled for less, something like that. Um, as long as you have that, you're good to go. Um, another tip that I just wanted to give out when you're searching for a credit card or when you're searching for a checking account, savings account, I love this um, website. I'm such a nerd. Don't nobody know. Low key a nerd. But it's called nerdwallet.com and it will give you advice on who's the best banks to go to, what's the pros and the cons and the perks for you. It gives you all that information right there. So. It saves you hours and hours and hours of research because you will be sitting there forever trying to go to Chase and then trying to go to Wells Fargo and trying to go to which one and see which one best for you. And then even by the time you get to the bank, you're confused because you didn't have all this information in your head and you're just like, okay, what are your perks and what are your things? So, um, Nerd Wallet is a time saver. They're very accurate. They let you know everything about everything. <laughs> so... They're very good, like um, what kind of cards you're looking for, um, as far as will it give you cash back, will it give you traveler's points, will it give you um, perks and things like that. So Nerd Wallet is very good. Stay on top of Credit Karma. Um, I check it every week right now. Once I'm at my goal that I need to be on, I barely log into Credit Karma. Um, they will send you all kind of alerts and things like that. Um, I think I even have it with my checking account that they send you credit credit monitoring. So it just comes from everywhere. It's free. If you do have that perk um, with any of your banks or anything like that, then go ahead and utilize that as well because it's a free resource. But um, yeah, that's what I have for improving your credit. That's just straight off the dome because I'm actually in to it now that is what i'm doing and um i will let you guys know how the process goes um, you guys let me know leave a comment down below if there's any tips and tricks that you want to share with anyone um you know we here we're a team we're gonna grow together and i just thank you guys so much for watching I look forward to giving you guys more content, more information. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Monique Lynette. Keep God first and the rest will follow.